Hello, welcome to uh, Britpop's Reactor on EBP1 today. Uh, today we're going to be looking at some fighter jets. Yes, amazing fighter jets that apparently are the fastest fighter jets that shocked Russia and China. I'm sure that's just for the title. Um, so we'll be going through some different fighter jets uh, from the US. Um, you know, fighter jets, I mean obviously we've got the, the Eurofighter Typhoon. Um, which is pretty spectacular. I mean, that can do all sorts in the sky. It's pretty amazing. But apparently the F-35 is coming along, which could mean the end of it. So we'll have to see, wait and see. But here we're going to have a bit of a rendition of uh, America's fastest fighter jets. So be interesting to see them as a Brit, what they're all about. I know we've done some stuff on uh, fighter jets with BP-2 as well. Uh, I just thought I'd cover this one as we go through. Woo! Is it me or was that loud? Fighter jets today are at the cutting edge of technology and represent some of the most technologically advanced and sophisticated pieces of machinery ever built by man. They're so sleek, aren't they? Just Speed sleek is as anything. one of the main features that every modern fighter jet must possess in order to remain relevant on the modern battlefield. While the United States, along with Russia, have set the pace and the bar for the development of sophisticated New Age fighters, many of which are still futuristic despite being built decades ago, speed it. ultimately remains one of the key factors in distinguishing a fighter jet from a diesel-powered propeller plane. That sound is unreal, isn't it? And thereby, the question arises as to which country is the top dog when it comes to building warplanes capable of not just being stealthy and maneuverable, but also being the fastest. Quickest planes. However, speed alone is no longer the defining factor That's AI. in the modern battlefield That's not a real. that has at least partially been replaced by stealth. For example, the F-22 Raptor is the slowest fighter jet on this list and yet is perhaps the most potent air superiority fighter jet in the world today. <laughs> the US SR-71 Blackbird spy plane was undoubtedly the fastest aircraft in the world and still yeah. holds the we record did a video on that. the maximum speed for a non-rocket aircraft. However, it still wasn't a fighter jet. In this video, we will take yeah. a look at the fastest fighter jets in the world today. Okay. Go on then, what Lockheed we got? Lockheed Martin, F-22 Raptor, 1,500 miles per hour. F-22. 1,500 miles per hour. 1,500 miles per the hour. The F-22 That's... Raptor is a fifth generation air supremacy fighter and is quite possibly the most advanced fighter jet of its sort in the world today. The F-22 Raptor was developed exclusively for the United States Air Force, and it is so advanced that the U.S. has maintained an export ban on this aircraft. Wow. Export ban. While the Air Force was planning to procure a few thousands of these fighter jets, the program was cancelled due to cost and lack of perceived enemies in the world that would require a fifth-generation air supremacy fighter jet. <laughs> It's amazing In how many end, different only um, operational wings it has. Raptors were built. Flaps. Being one of the so slowest flat. of the fastest fighter jets to make this list, one can see how it relies more on stealth than speed to win the day. 1,500 miles per hour is still pretty damn quick though, isn't it? Convair F-106, 1,526 miles per hour. Ooh. The Convair F-106 Delta Dart was developed for the U.S. Air Force and Delta was a Dart. primary all-weather interceptor aircraft. They were introduced in the 1960s and How used many through to the 1980s during the Cold War. They have all long since been retired. I was going to say, Grumman, yeah. But... F-14 Tomcat, 1,554 miles per hour. The F-14 Tomcat was developed yeah, for the United Maverick. States Navy and featured predominantly in Tom Cruise's movie Top Gun. <laughs> they were developed in the 1970s and finally retired from the Navy in 2006. I have one of these as a as a toy. I remember the very very you know it's one of the first plane toys that I got when you just used to just 
who moves the wing and you'd be like, oh, it's doing the same as what it's doing on the telly. You know, the excitement of having that was After brilliant. having seen 712 airplanes produced, interestingly, they remain in service today in the Iranian Air Force. Oh, right. The United States Navy Next has sport. replaced the F-14 with the F-18s. The F-14 were a great fighter jet in their time and were world famous for their highly distinctive variable sweep wings. They were developed as an interceptor, air superiority, and multi-role fighter. Because we've seen some of the F-18s on the um, on the ships, haven't we? Euro on the aircraft carriers. Typhoon, Here it is. Miles per hour. The only European-made fighter jet to make this list, the Eurofighter Typhoon is a multi-role fighter, although it was originally designed to perform more of an air superiority role. Yeah, it, Today, it, it is in service it is. in the British, German, Italian, and Spanish air forces and has seen some 571 Typhoons produced up to the end of 2020. The Typhoon is known to be highly agile and extremely Agile, yeah, it's ridiculously fighting. agile. Sukhoi, SU-27 flanker, 1,600 miles per hour. 1,600 miles per hour. Put a nose on it. It's like a Barry Manilow nose. The Sukhoi SU-27 is a Soviet-built, super-maneuverable fighter jet and was designed to counter the U.S.'s fourth-generation fighters like the F-15 Eagle and F-14 Tomcat. <laughs> It was We're going to call it Barry. Superiority missions and was intended to work alongside the MIG-29. Of the 680 okay. built, the majority remain in service in the Russian Air Force as well as a number of other air forces around the world. It's pretty agile. McDonnell Douglas F-15 Eagle, 1,650 miles per hour. See, that air intake just looks evil, doesn't it? In addition to the super advanced, albeit slower, fifth generation F-22 Raptor, the F-15 Eagle is the United States Air Force's other air supremacy fighter jet. And despite being a much older fighter jet than the F-22, it is also much cheaper and remains in production today. One of the F-15's claims to fame includes being among the most successful modern fighter jets. So mm. much that it has claimed over 100 aerial combat victories against other planes with no losses in turn. Most wow. of these kills have been with the Israeli Air Force. No losses. That's pretty impressive, isn't it? I mean, what impresses me with some of this is just the, the technology um, and the sophistication, like you said at the beginning of the video, so far ahead um, of their time. You know, you could see things in aircrafts that just a, it, it's just not in any other you know production facility of anything else that we create it's just it's because it's so expensive and the research and everything just for it to be into an aircraft you just wouldn't even contemplate putting that into other um other technologies but it's, it, it's just crazy mikoyan mig25 oh foxbat and mig31 foxhound 1,900 miles per hour. Whoa, 1,900 miles an hour. Look me, that's basically, you're sat on a rocket, the yeah? The 25 was developed by the Soviet Union yeah, we know, in the 1960s famous mix. and was among the very fastest military aircraft to have ever entered service in the world. Today, most of the MIG 25s, aka Foxbat, have retired and have been largely replaced by the MIG 31. The MIG-31 was based on the MIG-25. The MIG-31 also sits among the fastest combat jets in the world and is expected to remain in service in the Russian Air Force until 2030. Mm. Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird, 2,500 miles said, per hour. I thought you said it wasn't a fighter jet. That is ridiculous. And the winner is the Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird. Yes, that's not a fighter jet, but still the fastest military aircraft. This was a long-range, high-altitude strategic reconnaissance aircraft developed that. back in the 1960s and saw service in both the U.S. Air Force and with NASA. 32 of these super-fast and advanced jets were produced 32. and they have all since been retired. Wow.
Ironic that the fastest military aircraft was designed back in the 1960s and are not in service yeah. today. Today, stealth yeah. is more important than just plain speed. Well, is it just stealth or is it safety? I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, it's like Concorde. You used to be able to get from London to New York in, I think it was like three and a half hours. And people used to pay for that. And that was obviously retired. But there's no replacement. So you, you sort of advance in technology. Oh, you can fly from London to New York in three and a half hours. Oh, but it's not safe, actually. Thinking about it, it's not too slay, safe. You know, it's got to fly at crazy altitudes. It's got smaller windows. The pressure's too much. But it worked. It did work for a good period of time. And then how can you go like 25 years with not replacing that with anything else? Um, I, I, I don't get it. It's the same with putting men on the moon, isn't it? For a man on the moon. Uh, you know, why have we not done it since? Weird. There's some certain, there's, there's some weird things out there that obviously um, are just weird. <laughs> but that Blackbird, In something summary, else. The Russians have the world's fastest fighter jets, but there you the go. Americans have the stealthiest. Yeah, what's it come down to? What would you rather be in speed or agility? It's got to be agility and stealth, isn't it? And these people are, yeah, phenomenal pilots of any kind of aerial vehicle, shall we say? Anything in aviation, if you're a pilot. That's off to you. Just got his head in it. It's impressive because you've got so many checks that need to be done. Obviously. There you go. I think it's. I think this just is almost a fade to out. Yeah, it's, it's a fade to out. I mean, yeah, enjoyed that video. Um, incredible to see. You know, so many different aircraft, and you know, again, so much that has been retired, um, and how much we did rely on the sixties and seventies ability of you know creating these fighter jets and they're still in circulation today due to cost um yeah and it's that stealth ability where i think so many people are just you know not holding back aren't they they're holding back a lot more on um you know what they're showing globally and what they're selling to other countries and uh, and what's being available in the world so but well, there you go this american fastest fighter jet shocked russia and china is what the video is called. Uh, not sure about that because the fastest fighter jet is actually Russian. Um, <laughs> but yes, nothing nothing beats the old Blackbird. I mean, it can run. It can run and it can spy and it can tell all the other ones exactly what's going on. So there you go. Interesting. Um, hope you enjoyed that video with me, uh, Brit Pops React. If you're American, that's you know a good insight around the, the different models of fighter jet around the world uh yeah i enjoyed that let us know in the comments uh what do you think what other videos should i check out or me and bp2 check out on the channel uh related to anything military um without offending anybody as such in the world uh we'll be back tomorrow for another reaction until then it's goodbye from me over and out